Hello everyone. In the last class we studied about division of integers. Why we do our just like multiplication? When there are dissimilar signs, the answer is negative. There are similar signs, the answer is positive. Now we worked out many of the problems on division. Today let us do some of the statement sums of division. Try to understand. First question, example 6. In a text, plus 5 marks are given for every correct answer and minus 2 for every incorrect answer. Radhika answered all the questions and scored 30 marks, though she got 10 correct answers. Jai also answered all the questions and scored minus 12 marks, though he got 4 correct answers. How many incorrect answers they can take? So, even though they got, who got Radhika wrote 10 correct answers, she got only 30 marks. Why? Because some marks are deducted for the incorrect answers. So now what is your work? How many incorrect answers they can take? That's what we have to find out of Radhika and Jay. Shall we start? Radhika attempted 10 correct answers. So 5 into 10, how much? 50 marks plus 5 into 10 plus 50 marks she got. But what is her total? Total marks were how much? 13. How? 30 minus 50. How much? Minus 20. This is the marks that was for the incorrect answer. So minus 20 marks was for the incorrect answers. 50 minus 20 is 30. Am I right? Yes. That is for the incorrect answer. Minus 20. Therefore, number of number of Incorrect answers is equal to. Can you tell me how totally how much marks was for incorrect answer? Minus 20 divided by for every incorrect answer, what is the marks? Minus 2. So minus 2. So minus divided by minus is plus. So, how many incorrect answers? Two ones are two tens are. Therefore, ten incorrect answers. Who? Ten correct answers, ten incorrect answers. We will verify whether it is correct. Ten correct answers, five tens are fifty. Ten incorrect answers, minus two into ten, minus twenty. So, fifty minus twenty is thirty. We are right. Now, let us go to totally how many questions were there? 20. Jai, is, he also answered all the questions and scored minus 12 marks. So, though he got how many correct answers? 4 correct answers. So, how many incorrect answers he attempted? Let us see. Marks for 4 correct answers. 5 into 4, 20. He got how many marks? Minus 12. So minus 12. This is also gone. So minus 20. Totally how much was deducted? Minus 32 were deducted. How many were deducted? Minus 30. So what should we do? Therefore, number of Incorrect answers is equal to minus 32 divided by minus 2 because for every incorrect answer what is the bonus? Minus 2. Right? So minus divided by minus is plus 2 16 is a 30. So how many incorrect answers? 16. Are we right? First person 10 correct, 10 incorrect. Second person, 4 correct, 
16 meter in breadth. Correct? So, your answer is correct? Yes. 4 correctly. 20 incorrect answer minus 32. So, 20 and minus 32 totally is minus 12. Example 7. A shopkeeper earns a profit of rupees 1 by selling one pen and incurs a loss of 40 paise per pencil by selling pencils of her old stock. First question. In a particular month, she incurs a loss of rupees 5. In this period, she sold 45 pens. How many pencils did she sell in this period? What you have to do? Let us find out how many pens she sold? 45. For one pen, what is the profit? 1 rupee. So what is the total profit? 45 rupees. Right? Profit is equal to 1 into 45. How much? 45 rupees. What is the loss? 5 rupees. Loss means minus 5. Let us say minus 5. So, total loss is equal to rupees 5. Am I right? Profit plus loss is equal to total loss. What is a profit? 45 plus loss is equal to total loss is 5 piece. So I write down minus 5. So what is the loss? Loss is equal to minus 5. I take this one this side. So minus 45. How much? Totally minus 50 rupees. Total loss. Lo loss is how much? Minus 50 rupees. Minus 50 rupees. See, one pencil, 40 paise loss. So, I have to convert this rupee into paise. One rupee, 100 paise. So, 50 rupees, how much? 50 into 100. How much it is? 5,000. So, what was the total loss? Minus 5,000 paise. Amaran minus 5000. So, one pencil 40 paise loss minus 40. So, minus 5000 paise loss. How many pencils? Minus 5000 divided by minus 40. 10 fours are 10 500. So, minus divided by minus 6 plus. 4 ones are 4 ones are 4. 1 is the remainder. 4 twos are 8. 2 is the remainder. 4 fives are 20. How many pencils were sold in that month? 125 pencils were sold in that month. Right? Second question. In the next month, she earns. Neither profit nor loss. If she sold 70 pence, how many pences did she sell? That means 70 pence means 70 into 1. 70 rupees with a profit. But now there is no profit. That means that 70 rupees is disappeared. How? Minus 70 rupees was the loss. Right? So, 70 minus 70 was a loss. Am I right? Minus 70 is the loss. So, this is minus 70 rupees. Come into what is that? Pisces. Because you see, 70 plus minus 70 is equal to 0. Neither profit nor loss. So, minus 70 rupees is a loss. So, how many pencils? Did she sell? What we have to do? This number into Pisces. Minus 70 into 1 rupee 100 Pisces. 207. So 7000 Pisces. 1 pencil 40 Pisces. 7000 
rupees how many pencils? Seven thousand divided by forty. Ten fours are ten. Seven hundreds are four ones are four ones are four. Three is the remainder. Four sevens are twenty-eight. Two is the remainder. Seven. Total how many pencils? One seventy-five pencils she sold in that month. I hope you understood all these sums very clearly. If you like my video, please share it with others and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.